Today, I'm reviewing and testing this Aukey all-in-one LED headlight upgrade. It's a good-looking light and has some nice futuristic design touches. But how does it perform? Let's find out together. Hello everyone and welcome to Car Light Reviews, where I perform consistent automotive light tests to help you make the best purchase decisions, see better, and be seen better when driving, and of course, save you money. Now it's been a while since I made a video about an all-in-one style of LED headlight. I saw this one, and it looks pretty neat, a little different than the other lights out there, so I thought I'd see how it performs. It's made by a company called Aukey, and like my other LED headlight videos, I'm going to do an unboxing, go over the published specifications, and then cover some of the features. Then I'm going to test the brightness and light output pattern for both projector and reflector housings and see how it performs. So let's start with the unboxing. Nothing too fancy about this. It's got a basic construction sheet, but these are plug and play. You just remove your factory halogens and then install these. It does come with a little teeny tiny Allen wrench for the adjustable collar that I'll talk about in a minute. Let's take a look at this. Okay, let's start with the published specifications. 55 watts each, 10,000 lumens each, a color temperature of 6000K. The chip is unknown. I didn't couldn't find a listing on what the chip was. Has an IP rating of 68, an hour rating of 50,000. It does have an adjustable collar as you saw it comes with the wrench. It is fan cooled and does have an internal driver making it an all-in-one type of unit. Now the warranty is not listed on Amazon, but one of the review comments on Amazon mentions two years. And the price at the time of this video before any discounts is $49.99 per pair. Now there's something that I mention once in a while, and that is the difference between this style, the all-in-one, and the non-all-in-one style, and that is the location of the driver. As you can see here, the driver is internal versus external, like the Farron Terminator that I recently reviewed. The driver here, completely separate, not inside. The upside of an all-in-one design is that it's very, very compact, as you can see. It's about the size of a halogen bulb that it replaces. So if you have a really shallow dust cap or very limited space in your headlight capsule, an all-in-one style might be best for you. But there is a trade-off, and that is heat. Because the driver is inside the main unit, and the driver generates heat, and that has an impact on your light output over time. So when it's ex external, like the Farron Terminator, the heat is kept separate from the main unit. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now here's my initial observations. Now, as I mentioned, this caught my eye because it just looks a little different than the other all-in-one lights out there. It's got these really cool treatments all the way throughout it from the main area here down through the driver and fan area. Inside here, you can see some sort of radiator or heat sink. And then right there's the fan. Overall, it's pretty small, pretty compact. I wonder how this fan does though, because it's pretty tiny and it's jammed in there pretty good. We're going to find out. It just looks kind of cool. It has a really nice bronze anodized finish. And I thought, you know what, let's get, check this out and let's see how it performs. And that's one thing that's really important here is how does it test? Well, if you're new to this channel, I did make a short one minute video that explains how I do my testing. See the link right below, which is also in the description, along with notes on aiming headlights, how to know you've picked the right headlight for your application, and the legality of replacing halogen headlight bulbs with LEDs like this one. And before I move ahead, if you find any of my videos helpful to you enjoying your car more and saving you money, then do me a favor. Click on the thumbs up, click on the thanks icon to directly support this channel, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell if you haven't already. And don't forget my Patreon page where you can throw me as little as a buck a month to support my efforts and possibly get some cool car light review goods in return. I really appreciate everyone's support. So now, let's see how this all-in-one Aukey LED upgrade performs. For the projector, the initial output is 1,152, or 427, over the halogen 725 baseline lux measurement. This is on the low side, but it's definitely not the lowest that I've tested. And after 27 minutes, the average commute time in the United States, it doesn't retain as much light as I'd like to see, 68% of that light output, making it 784 lux, or 58 lux, over the halogen baseline. Now this is a great example of what I mentioned before. The compact nature of this style of light has increased heat impact. And unfortunately, 68% is the lowest light output retention over time that I've tested. Not by much, but it is. 
Now let's take a look at how it is compared to halogen. It does have a reasonably clear cutoff, and the cutoff is pretty low compared to the hot spot, which is a good thing. Uh, the common weak spot right here is a bit more pronounced than I'd like to see. But let's have a look at the reflector output. Well, this is a little better. 2060 lux is 1150 over the halogen baseline of 910 lux. This is about average for an all-in-one style, so it does okay here. Definitely does a better job in the reflector than it does in the projector. After 27 minutes of runtime, keeping that 68% light output, it is reduced to 1,401 lux, or 491 over the halogen baseline. This is right around average for the all-in-one styles I've tested so far, and again, better in the reflector than the projector. Now looking at the reflector light pattern compared to halogen, not too bad. The beam is wide and full and is rather controlled. It has a little bit of scatter right here, but it isn't really terrible for a reflector. I think it's safe to say that you should use this in a reflector, but probably not in a projector. As I mentioned, there is a published rating of 55 watts per light, and I observed 20.7. This probably explains the low output. And for heat management, after 27 minutes of runtime, the average commute time in the United States, my FLIR thermal camera recorded a rather hot 220 degrees Fahrenheit or 104 degrees Celsius. Yes, this one is on the warmer side, which I am speculating is what caused the low output retained over time, as well as the low wattage. And as always, if you want to compare all specifications on all the lights I've tested, I put a link in the description to a free spreadsheet that I update with every video release. So yes, this is a good looking light, and no, it doesn't do quite as well as I'd like to see, but there's one thing that'll save it. As I mentioned, it is $49.99 per pair before any discounts. Now, as I make this video, there's a $15 coupon available on Amazon, making it $34.99, which makes this one of the most inexpensive all-in-one styles I've tested so far. Now, my recommendation is this. If you need an all-in-one style and have a reflector housing, and you can find a good deal on this, it would be worth a try, especially if you have to replace your stock halogens. This isn't that much more of an expense, and you get the benefit of LED color and longevity and a bit more brightness. I mean, overall, this is just a good, basic, all-in-one replacement for halogens at a cheap price. It'll do an okay job. It's worth considering. So if you're on a budget and you want to pick this up, links are in the description, and buying this light or any other light that I review through those links supports this channel at no additional cost to you. So once again, click on the thumbs up, the thanks icon, and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. And if you have a suggestion on what I should test in the future, please leave a comment and I will check into it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps you to find the right lighting upgrades for your needs so you can enjoy your car more and save you money. So keep your headlights aimed, drive safely, responsibly, and respectfully.